Okay, so, um... It's that time of month again. I'm, I know I said that last month, but I thought it was cute. Not really. I don't know. I just felt like saying it. Um, it's that time of month again. Um, it's actually late. It's like a week late. It's usually a bad thing, isn't it? Um, time for, um, September favorites, because now we're in October. Holy crap. Um, so I've got my five top products for the month. I'm going to show them to you. And, um, I hope you enjoy this, find it helpful, I don't know. Um, so my first one, I'm just going to, like, do it. It's kind of like a generalization. Let's just make less of a mess of it, please. Um, I've got this one, and then I've got this one, and I'm missing... There we go. Okay. This is good enough. This isn't all of them. I've got a whole bunch of them. But I am loving EcoTools brushes. So, like, I've got this one, which is a retractable kabuki brush, and it's just, it's super, super soft and dirty. I use it for everything. <laughs> Um, but it's really, really soft, and I just toss this in my purse. Um, I picked up a couple of brush sets the other day. I've had this brush for ages. Like, I already had one of these. But I saw it in a set, and I thought, oh, well, I'd love to try the rest of them. And they're not that expensive. I think this in Canada was $18, and this one was $15. Um, honestly, um, the angled brush is amazing. I've had the little shader brush for a long time, and I love it. Um, I haven't tried the concealer brush yet, but I don't know. It's probably just as fine. It's just, I don't know. I can't see it being a whole lot different than the rest of them. Um, I don't really use these things. I really don't. So, I mean, that's kind of a shame, but... And then it's just got, like, a powder blush brush, which is really quite nice. And then there's this one. Um, I'm going to be honest... I don't know what the hell these are for. Like, this one is far too flimsy for me. I can't really figure out what to do with it. And this one I can kind of see using, but not very often. Not why I brought the kit, though. I really wanted it for these. Well, mostly this one. This is like a little mini 217. And it's 32, because I just used it for this uh, tutorial. Um, this is like a little mini 217. Um, it's a really good blending brush. Um, I really quite like it, and, um, these are all really dirty, because I just used them, and I haven't washed them yet, um, and then this one is, this one is really nice, too, and this one I wasn't quite so sure about, but they call it a highlighting brush, I think, but I've actually, I actually really like it, because, like, when I toss a highlight up here, instead of just kind of packing it on, I can blend it out with this, too, like, just run it back and forth, and it looks great, so I'm really loving these three brushes more than the other two, but EcoTools brushes in general, I've just been really, really loving them. Um, what's next? Um, let's get this one. Um, this is the CoverGirl Clean Makeup for Sensitive Skin. Um, what's the number on this? Two three. I'm too. No. I'm number 235, which is medium light. Um, let me start off by saying that I like really, really heavy coverage. Um, I don't have bad skin. I have a lot of people that say that I don't need the extra coverage, but it's just something that I've always worn. I've always had, like, absolutely, like, flawless, like, almost scary-looking skin, because I like it to be that perfect. And this is not. This is a medium, almost to light coverage foundation. It's really not um, what I'm used to. So yeah, this is not an extremely heavy coverage foundation. However, I've been pairing it with the um, matching powder. Well, the powder is in number 250, which is creamy beige, so it's maybe a little bit darker. But... Um, they work really well together. They do wind up together, because um, if I don't set this, it is too sheer for me. Um, but if I do set it with a colored powder, it gives me just enough coverage to feel quite comfortable, and it's kind of a fresher look for me, and I've been really enjoying uh, these two together. Ooh, 
what else? Um, I just used this in a tutorial. I'm wearing it right now. Um, this is Mac Sunbask. It's a sheer from shimmer blush. Um, I've been liking it because it is like this little bit of a bronzy blush. And my face tan, whatever little of it I get, fades super, super fast. So the rest of my body is still like, I don't know, that might not look tan to you. For me, this is tan. <laughs> um, and my face fades really quickly. So I like, um, especially for the first little bit of the fall, um, to wear like these cranberry, to wear like bronzy colored um, blushes. And it kind of helps it look like I've somewhat kept my tan just a little bit longer. Um, how many are we at? One, two, three. Oh, here we go. These are really in no order at all. Um, now this could potentially freak out a lot of people. And I know it sounds disgusting, but um, first let me talk about my hair. Um, anyone that's been watching my videos from a, like a long time back, followed me over from my other channel, um, did wind up seeing what I did to my hair. Trying to find something that represents the right type of color. And I have just the right thing. This is NYX's red pink eyeshadow. This is what my hair looked like last fall. It's kind of scary. Um, and I'm still stuff. I'm still suffering for it. Um, my bangs are mostly okay, but I can't heat style my hair. Like I'll load it up with heat protector, and I still can't heat style it. Like I can't do anything to it. So I very rarely curl it. I very rarely flat iron it. It kind of just stays like this, and it drives me nuts, because I don't really enjoy my hair like this. Um, so I happened to be at Savon, and I was looking through hair care stuff, and I found this. Now, again, this is going to freak some people out, I'm sure. Um, but... It works. So if you can get over the fact of what it is, it's a really great product. If you are not comfortable with the idea of putting placenta in your hair, turn this video off now. Because this is what it is. It's henna and placenta. It's, um, it's just a deep conditioner. Um, it's an extra rich formula combining two of nature's most complete hair conditioners, neutral henna and natural placenta, together for the first time to quickly repair and strengthen dry, brittle, lifeless hair and will not change hair color. So, again, it says shampoo, towel dry hair, apply complete packet, massage into hair, uh, wrap in a hot towel for 10 minutes. I leave this on overnight. Like, I will leave this on for hours and hours. Um, and when I do rinse it off, it's like the hugest difference to my hair. So I've been loving, loving this. I know it's kind of gross if you really think about it. Um, it is an environmentally responsible formula. It is not tested on animals. Um, the placenta extract, extract, well, it's not actually like placenta on your head. This is really disgusting. Um, it's just placenta extract. It is derived from animal placenta. Um, it's cruelty free. It's not like, a, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of information on it, but it's like, it's not like, they're stealing placentas from animals and, like, mashing them up and sticking it in the air. Like, it's... It's... Responsible. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to stop talking. But I love this. I know it's gross, but I love it. Um, my last favorite for September is this one. This is Viva Glam Cindy from MAC. Um, I've just been liking it because it's a nice kind of transitioning into fall shade. It's red, but it's sheer. It's dark enough to like look like fall, but it's still kind of transitioning because we've been having a lot of really nice weather lately. Um, today's kind of an exception to that, but we have been having some very nice weather. So that's it for my September favorites. I'm sure I talked far too much in this video. I kind of got really distracted. I haven't been 
this wasn't so long, I'm really sorry. Um, do stay tuned, I don't know what's going up first exactly, I'm probably gonna put up like two or three videos this week though. Um, I am going to be doing a, um, well, I've done this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing an update for anyone that really wants to know what's going on. And, um, yeah. Also, Halloween tutorials, if you do want a Halloween tutorial next week or two weeks from now, because if I get into a filming mood, I might just pump out a couple of them, or as many of them as I can, so do leave comments uh, requesting Halloween ideas, costume thingies, if you would like them. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, don't forget to write, comment, and subscribe, and I love you. And I will see you in another video.